Okay, y'all, so this is how to set up your entitled CO2 on a patient. So these are the supplies that you may need depending on how you're going to, where you're going to be measuring the entitled from and what machine you're using. So we have here our portable entitled CO2 monitor. This is the one that we take to codes, to rapids. So if you need to take the portable one, that's there. This is the one that we can insert into our GE monitors, and these are kept on the B side under the um, cardiac monitor at the nurse's station. So if you need that one and you're measuring it on a patient who's in the room, that's going to be where you go to. And then we have our supplies here. So if you're measuring it with our monitor, you will need a water trap. And then depending on your, if your patient is intubated or not intubated, these are going to be your two sources. So if your person's intubated, we have our nice little kit that has everything you need. It's going to have the connector, um, which will connect to your ET tube. In between your ET tube and the, connect, the tubing to your ventilator. And it will have the tubing that will then connect to your end tidal CO2 monitor. So that is that. And then if your person's not intubated, we have the end tidal CO2 nasal cannula. So you can put this per the person on the nasal cannula. One end will connect to your monitor and one end will connect to your oxygen. So we'll go ahead and start by showing you how to connect the end tidal with the portable monitor. So if you're going to put your person on end tidal CO2 and they are not intubated, you can use the nasal cannula, um, which has the dual end. And essentially one end, this part, will connect to your monitor and then the other port can connect to the oxygen. You will need to get one of these to connect it to your um to your end tidal CO2 monitor and you'll basically connect it by just putting your disc in there. Put your cannula on your patient. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I have the cannula on now. I have connected our tubing to our monitor and I can go ahead and pick this up and I can turn on the monitor now. So as you can see, it's going to give you an end tidal CO2, it has your respiratory rate, and then it also has your waveform. So if your person starts to become tachypnic, you'll see more waves, you'll see an increase in your respiratory rate, and most likely you'll see a lower end tidal CO2. And if your person is retaining, your end tidal CO2 will be elevated. You'll see higher waveforms. So here we're measuring it at zero. This is the 50 mark and this is 30 mark. And we can silence the alarm by pressing that button. Um, we can change your waveforms by pressing this button. We can change any settings that we want by pressing this button here. And we'll press the up and down arrows. This is also going to be our select button. So on here I can freeze the waveform, change the alarm settings, the volume, I can edit the capnography, the oximetry, etc. Um, and so if I wanted to freeze the waveform, I would have just pressed this. This will automatically go, the menu will automatically go away if you don't press anything, of course. So now I'm here and I have the monitor and I'm going to plug in my attachment so that way it can get an entitled CO2 reading on my GE monitor here in the room. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this to the side and this is going to slide in right here. So I'm going to take the attachment and I'll basically just slide it on there and it'll clip in. And then I'm going to put in my water trap. So I have it here. This is going to stick on the outside. And it's there in place now. Okay, so I went ahead and connected my tubing here to the water trap. And now I'm seeing my waveform. 
Uh, this is because I'm talking, um, but it's going to have my accurate respiratory rate and my end tidal CO2 there. So again, if we have a patient that we're worried about retaining CO2, then we can go ahead and put this on them and we'll be able to measure that on our patients in the room. And on top of that, we'll get an actual uh, respiratory rate that is accurate. Say your person is intubated. What you'll use is this device here. So one end is going to go into our ET tube and then the other end will connect our ET tube to our ventilator tubing. So once we connect that there, then we can connect the end of the tubing to our monitor up here on the side where our water trap is and we will get results.